how you doing? Welcome to this Enlight tutorial. So we're on to part three of the um, of this four piece collage that we're doing, and this time we're going to look at these. Um, we're going to look at these flowers right here and do this sort of nice nice effects with the paint drips and um, and the filter over the top, the coloured filter over the top. So um, so let's get along and do this. Like I said, this is part three. If you haven't seen part one, which was which was this one here, the double exposure, I'll put the link in the description below or on the screen if I can right now. Um, part two was the um, was the colour frog, which is this one, and again the link will be in the um, description to the video below or likewise I'll put it on the screen if I can. And um, then the third one, we're going to use this. This will also this image will also the link to it will be in the description below. Um, for us to um, for us to get on and make this effect right here. So select our image. Let's tap our screen. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to go to filters, and then I'm going to go to duo. As soon as we get this duo, I'm going to go to tools at the bottom, and I'm going to go to shape, and I'm going to select linear. So once I've selected this linear shape, I'm just going to twist it with my fingers to make it vertical like so tap tools again tap color one and i get my color swatch pop up and i'm going to select this purple right here i'm going to tap color two and i'm going to select the purple that's right next to it or you can indeed select the same color purple if you want to i'm just going to select the purple that's next to it and then i'm going to tap position you see these anchor points here i'm just going to slide my fingers out so it extends so you haven't you've got less of this split um, color across and we sort of extend the color and blur the colors into one and um, and this is the color that I am I'm, I'm looking for I'm then going to go to blending and just show you I'm going to tap blending I'm going to go across I'm going to go to multiply and you can either have multiply you can use darken or you can use color burn so I think that I'm just going to use, um, you could use whichever one you want, of course, but I want quite a dark one this time. So I'm going to go to um, go to multiply and you notice dark and it just it sort of darkens the background, but leaves the, the foreground a little bit lighter, whereas multiply just keeps that color consistent um, across the image. So once I've done that, I'm going to click the little tick button in the top right hand side close down my filters and go to my brushes go to effects scroll along until i find these paint drips i'm just going to zoom in a little bit onto the flowers and all i'm going to do with my finger i'm just going to wipe down and create this drip sort of effect with my fingers across the image and anywhere else that you want that drip effect but not too much so this is um this is my drip effect done and what i'm going to do i'm going to slide back to the left hand side and i'm going to use this first effect here and i'm just going to tap the screen certain areas just to get this effect like so then i'm going to scroll along once i'm happy and I can use these um, any one of these effects I'm going to use the one on the left hand side that's got a bit of color and again I'm just going to tap like so and give us a bit of color so this is our effects applied to the image I'm going to click the little tick button up here in the right hand side I'm then going to go to my image I'm going to go to adjust I'm going to scroll along you can see we can use any one of these effects, which is quite nice. Probably up this, um, up the back area of this um, of of the um, of the effects are probably the best. Sierra is quite nice because what it does, if you notice, it smoothens out the image, but leaving the bright parts of the image quite bright. Um, Crayola also, if you if you ramp that that effect up. It's quite a nice effect. The withered is also a very nice effect. I quite like the imprint, so I'm going to select the imprint and just scroll up a little bit. So we just take away 
the um, the sharper parts of the area you can watch watch this 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 area this sort of um, this effect come together like so I'm gonna click the little tick button I'm gonna go back to image select adjust again and then I'm gonna come across and again if you just apply another effect it's quite nice as well the one I want to apply let me find it this stellar effect and it just makes the colors a little bit more vibrant if I show you like so and I'm gonna just slide along to the screen and make this effect around 89 and click the little tick button to apply that to our effect um, save that out press the little button at the top click save photo and then what I'm going to do I'm going to close down the image tool I'm going to go to finalize and go to collage find a four image find this four image so you notice when I select an image the blue square um, highlights around the outside so let me select my second image and then what you can do on the image you can either zoom in or zoom out of the image select my third image then all that's left to do is um, put in our fourth image which will be the floating tree which will be next so this is um, this is what it'll look like with that tree in there as it does on the image right there so this is part three like i said part four will, will be coming up quite quickly thanks a lot for watching i hope you enjoyed this effect and um i hope you can apply it somewhere else i'll catch you soon